Okay, water pressure here at this residence is right at 90 PSI, which is about a good 30 to 40 too much. It does have a very old cash acme pressure reducing valve in place. We're going to replace it with this new one. This is an EB45-DPE lead free 45 PSI set out of the box. Range is 10 to 70, which is pretty good. 400 PSI max, which definitely covers that. This one is set up for three quarter inch double union PEX barb, meaning, and it has the standard PEX barb fittings on it, which is good for Viega press sleeves, the stainless steel sleeves, or the stainless steel pinch clamps, or the copper pinch rings. So we're going to take it apart and get into it. We're going to lubricate these O-rings up with a silicone grease. You could go with Odie makes a good silicone grease. This is a diver's grease. This is a good product. Going to go with Super Lube O-ring silicone lubricant mainly because number one, it is food grade. We we'll have two of these, one for each end. I like the idea that it is food grade and this is in line. This will be the main pressure reducing valve in the potable water supply line. We're going to be using Viega's new manual press tool on the stainless steel sleeve on these this time. I want to try that setup. When you finish with the job, it's, it's a good clean looking job. But other than that, I really like the stainless steel pinch clamps using the Ryobi P660 cordless tool. It is directional. It'll have an arrow on it. Also, on these termination ends, this is standard PEX. This is good for the copper crimp rings. It's good for the stainless steel pinch clamps. And it's good for not the expansion. You can get this with the expansion fittings on it for PEX A expansion where you use the tool to expand the ring and clamp it on. Very nice setup. I don't have it. And you can use the Viega style of stainless steel press sleeves. We're going to use the Viega made in Germany manual press tool three quarter inch. Also you can get this in three quarter inch possibly even half inch but male and female national pipe thread and you can give it, even get it in shark bite at least three quarter inch shark bite on each end. I was going to go the shark bite route, but I believe they were out of stock at Supply House. But that's not a bad way to go shark bites on each end, especially if it's in a rigid system in a line where it can't give up or down if it's kind of locked in place. And this will be locked right in place, right above the water softener. I don't want to scar that up with channel locks. So I'm going to try this adjustable three inch parallel jaw wrench. As you can see, not a very precision wrench, but it's made for drain work. And even with an old ring with 50 to 60 PSI water pressure, you don't have to over tighten none of this plumbing stuff. Let's call that good. Okay, on the sleeve, you just want a good 90 degree cut, good square cut. You want to be able to see the pecs in that entire small window. That indicates it's a good square fit. Plus, before you put it on the fitting, you can just rotate it and see that you've got a good cut there. The biggest issue is when you make your crimp, is to make sure it doesn't slide off like that. Like that. Okay, using the Viega, let's see what kind of a job we get. 
using a three quarter inch Viega manual press tool. You can see my hands. That's as far as we can go with the handle being folded. Now we're going to unfold it. Now we can make our crimp 100%. It will not release until you hit that 100%. There's our PEX tubing. Very good crimp. Very happy with it. See how this one looks. Yeah. Well, we'll try it. Well, that's it for the Cash Acme pressure reducing valve. Three quarter inch PEX. Work safe out there. Have a good one.